Our business reporter, Jeannie Lee, is here now with more. So Jeannie, what were the answers? Well, the answers, Hillary, were uh, that uh, bottom line, what you see at the bottom of line in your bill is a lot more than just uh, what you think goes into getting you that service. And so the CEOs had a chance to uh, explain uh, their own cost structure, what it uh, costs to invest in networks, and to be able to provide you with a service that we now uh, count on so much. And so this was a committee of the Industry and Technology um, Standing Committee that looks into affordability or has been looking into affordability on so many of our costs of living. And uh, all three CEOs of Rogers, Bell and TELUS, the big three, um, were uh, joining by video link and um, explained that uh, their own costs are going up, for example, and uh, other challenges of uh, being the head of a telecom company, essentially. Have a listen to a couple of those points. For an average Canadian using between five and seven gigs of wireless data per month, prices have fallen nearly 30%. That's $13 per month on our Virgin Plus brand since 2020. And instead of just five gigs of data back then, that user is now getting 10 times more. As wireless prices decrease, the cost of building and operating wireless networks are rising markedly. Telecom equipment, mostly paid in US dollars, has risen over 24% from 2020 to 2023, and price increases from suppliers are accelerating. So armed with a lot of statistics uh, from StatsCan, including from StatsCan, to uh, basically make the case that there's a lot more that goes into um, providing all that service. There are a lot of costs that they're absorbing as well. Their costs are going up. And also uh, can, trying to um, contradict uh, what a lot of people think, that there's just not enough competition in the business. Uh, they claim that uh, between the three of them, for example, and smaller players, there are hundreds of different offers on uh, uh, on offer, uh, so plans that people can pick from, and that somewhere along the line that competition does create lower prices uh, or higher data for the same price. And Ginny, certainly these are not the first CEOs that we've seen recently called to justify their business mm -hmm. practices. Why is that? Uh, mainly because this committee has been looking into affordability issues, really to address the fact that uh, constituents at all level, consumers at all levels, are you know just struggling with the cost of living and giving their MPs an earful. So the MPs then, in turn, are giving the CEOs an earful. We already saw grocery executives uh, in the hot seat. Um, and you know the common denominator here is the fact that these are folks that run huge companies that make big profits on by selling us things that we need. These are necessities, food and uh, internet and mobile phones. You need all of those things. And so uh, the exchanges got a little testy at times. At least the MPs wanted to hammer away at the fact that their constituents are quite angry. Um, and so here's a, a particular exchange related to um, the fact that Rogers, for example, announced an increase of about seven to nine dollars a month early on in the new year, new year for some um, of its uh, subscribers. Have a listen. Would you not admit that the, the timing was not great? And, and if I could use the, the term, the two word term tone deaf uh, to, to customers and to, and to the Canadian populace. That's against the backdrop of price plans that are in market that continue to come down month over month and year over year. So the CEO is really interested in talking about the backdrop, everything that goes into uh, providing these services, and of course, the MPs interested in trying to get their uh, constituents' opinions across.